Hello everybody, Big B from Flea here. Welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you what trails are and how to use them in Roblox Studio. It's been forever since I posted, so let's just get into the video. Also make sure to like and subscribe. Now your question might be, what could trails be used for? We can use them for a trail following you, as you can see in this video. You could also use it for something like a projectile. As you can see as I move this, it leaves a streak behind it. So we'll just insert a part and we'll use this for our trail. So I'm gonna insert trail and you need two attachments. So now I'm gonna move one attachment to one side of the cube and the other attachment to the other side. So now in the trail, you can set the attachments. You set attachment zero to one of the attachments and attachment one to the other attachment. Now if you move it, it'll create a trail between those two attachments. Now to make the trail look better, you can just go ahead and set trail and in the properties, you can make it face the camera at all times. So as you'll see, it will just rotate with the camera. You can also make it emit light. You can adjust the transparency so you can make it like completely solid. You can even add textures onto it, the texture property. Down in the emission category, you can change the lifetime so you can make it able to be a very long lasting trail or you can make it just a quick, short trail. Just go ahead and set this to one. And to make it look better, you can just go ahead into the trail and you can add a gradient for the color. So if you want it, let's say you want it to be like a fire color, you can go ahead, set the left side to red, set the right side to yellow. And now you have a fire color trail. And let's say you just randomly want it somewhere to just turn to green. You can just set a uh, click in the middle of the gradient, set it to green, and now it goes from red to green to yellow. I'm going to get rid of that green though. What you can do is you can go into a trail, go to transparency, and now what you can do is you can make it drop off. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to start at 0 0.1 transparency. It's going to go all the way up to 1. Now, it fades out. However, I'm just going to make it a little bit smoother of a transparency gain. And, and you see it has this nice fade as it goes to the end of the trail. Alright, so now let's say you want to create a trail on your player whenever you spawn in. To make this, you're going to want to have your trail and just go ahead and put in replicate storage. Next, create a rig and I'm going to do R15, but it doesn't matter. Now go into your R15 rig, create two attachments, and put one at the top, and put one at the bottom. So now you will have, we will code it so that there's a trail going between these two places following you. So now create a script in server script service. And first, we're going to want to find when the player is at, uh, joins the game. So we're going to go ahead and do game dot players dot player added colon connect function play. So that will get the player. Now we want to detect when the player character loads into the game. So we're going to do play dot character added colon connect function and then char. So now we have the player's character. So now what we can do is char colon wait for child humanoid root part. So now we will make sure that the humanoid root part is in the game. Next we're going to want to create the attachments. So local attach net zero is equal to instance dot new attachment. Attachment zero dot parent is equal to char dot humanoid root part. And lastly, attachment zero dot position is equal. And then you're going to go on one of your attachments, go to that property, C frame position, 
and copy in it, let's say vector three dot new and paste it in there. And now you're going to want to go ahead and copy the same thing, except or type the same thing except do attachment one. And when you get to the position, just go ahead and go to the other attachment and copy the position for it. Now we're going to want to create the trail. So we're going to do local trail is equal to game dot replicate storage dot trail colon flow. So we're going referencing the trail that we made. Trail dot parent is equal to char trail dot attachment zero is equal to attachment zero. So now we're going to go ahead and set the attachments. So we're going to do save for attachment one. So trail.attachment1 is equal to attachment1. Alright everyone, just a quick correction. You're going to want to do dot position, not dot C frame dot position, just do dot position. And if we click click play, as you can see, we have a trail following us now. It, if you see while we're walking, you can see how there's a little gap there. You can just change that by going into dz and changing that to just zero now we have a trail following us and it changes colors all right everybody thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye